It's good to speak to you. Let's talk a little bit about Tiger Woods. Going back to February 2021, that car crash, many people thought that Tiger would never play again. But 13 or 14 months later, whatever that period is, Tiger Woods is almost back. Just how much work has he put in to get to this stage? Hey, here you go. Um, it's, a, it's a miracle, number one, to, to get him to come back and play after the state where he was in. And for him to be out here trying to compete to the event that he loves so much, a little bit that I know about him is that Tiger is a very, very hard worker. Tiger likes to win. And when I saw him playing with his son um, last year and he put up a show and I knew that there was no way that Tiger was going to win the Masters this year. All what it was going to depend on his fitness, if he was fit uh, enough to come out and play. And fitness for Tiger has never been a problem. So uh, when I saw him in a couple of shots, like about two months ago, and uh, I knew he was ready. He was going to play. So mental strength is a big part of it. And I know you've played a couple of rounds uh, competitively with Tiger Woods. Talk to us about his mental strength. Oh, well, that's how he wins so many tournaments. You know, uh, Tiger's mind is so strong. And uh, the couple of years I've played with him, it was probably one of his, it's still one of his best things that uh, he, he has through this game of golf. Tiger's got a very strong mind. Uh, when he goes out there and he believes that he's going to win, the only thing that will stop him from winning, it will be about how, how well he's hitting the ball. And right now, for Tiger, probably this is the best I've seen him hit the golf ball. You know, he's so much in control of the golf ball. And for him to hit that, the ball that well, his mental strength has just grown from, from like uh, 20 to, so to 80%. And uh, I'm sure he's ready, and he knows that he's ready. And to watch him hit the ball like that, it's one of the best control shots I've ever seen him hit. Well, he's a five times winner at Augusta, second only to Jack Nicholas, who has six, right? Is this going to give him an advantage uh, come event start tomorrow? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Augusta is a very, very special golf course. You've got to play it so many times uh, to, win it, to, to win on that golf course. And uh, the player that control his ball the best and the wind conditions, they change so much. And Tiger has been prepared for that, you know. And, and um, that's the reason that he's won his last major at Augusta, because he knows all the conditions, because he's played there so many times. And uh, for him to go out there and been hitting the ball as well as hitting it, I think he's got a very, very good chance. Because it's not the first time winners golf course. You've got to play, you've got to play it so well. You've got to practice the golf course so many times. It's, it's one of the best um, tracks to test a professional golfer. So Tiger's got a very, very good chance to win this week. So psychologically, do you feel that coming back at this event was deliberate because he's enjoyed so much success on the course? Well, absolutely. If you look at his interviews as a kid, uh, Augusta has always been special to him, but I wouldn't even say that probably uh, he, he, he um, I wouldn't say that Tiger had prepared a couple of weeks ago. Tiger's been there weeks ago, months ago, you know, preparing to play in, in Augusta. And he, he probably he's played Augusta more than any other player has played this year because that's a tournament he feels comfortable to win. And for him right now, it's not about winning all the other tournaments. For him right now, he just wants to, be, to win major tournaments. That is all what is behind Tiger's head right now. He is just going to try and win as, as many matches as he can win so that he can get the achievement that he wants to get. James, there's something called the Tiger intimidation factor. Just the sheer presence of this individual who's done so much in winning all those tournaments. Do you see it still being a factor come this week? Oh, absolutely. I don't know if you've been seeing the, the crowds, you know, at, uh, at Augusta the last couple of days while Tiger's been practicing. And that's what Tiger likes the most, you know. Those kind of people, they make him focus more. And Tiger hits, the one thing about Tiger is that he hits special shots that most professional golfers cannot hit. That's what he enjoys it so much. When Tiger hasn't got those shots, he has a problem of playing this game. But when Tiger has those special shots in him, it becomes a very, very interesting week.
So 82 PJ victories, 15 majors. Just how much is left in Tiger Woods? Can he get to that mark of 18 majors? Oh, absolutely. That's all what is left in him right now. You know, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the majors. As I said, Tiger wants to go out there and, 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 uh, and, and get to that 18. But with all the injuries and all the, the, the problems, uh, the, uh, the injuries he's had so far, it has held him back a little bit, a couple of years, you know. Now he's 45, going to 46, and there's a lot of good kids that are going out there that are playing good golf. It's going to be a little bit tough, you know. It's going to take a lot out of him to win a couple of matches that are coming up. Because, But I know one thing for sure. This one is very, very special to him. He will always want to win this one. But the others, they play in different golf courses, longer, and the age is, is catching up with him. But he needs to do it very, very quickly before he gets to 48.